Hey, well, what's up, everyone? Welcome to The Collision. Daniel here, and I am very excited, honored uh, to be joined by two very special guests, Roma Downing, the producer and also one of the stars in the exciting new uh, faith-based drama from Amazon Prime, The Baxters, as well as Karen Kingsby, the author of the source material of those books, as well as uh, a writer on this show as well. Uh, thank you guys so much for taking the time to talk about this new show. Thanks, Thanks for having us, Daniel. Yeah. So I, I know a lot of people are already very familiar with The Baxters, uh, Karen, from your books. Uh, a big readership, uh, beloved uh, books by by many people. Uh, but maybe for those that are will be meeting this family for the first time, uh, haven't uh, read the books, aren't familiar, uh, maybe either one of you share a bit. What can they expect from this family? What can they expect from encountering the Baxters? Well, the Baxters, uh, from the very beginning when I began writing about them, are a family with five, it's a doctor and his wife, with five adult kids that are making their way. They're finding their way in relationships and trials uh, triumphs and some of them running toward God, some running away from God. But at the end of the day, it's a, a very real family with very real faith. And the, uh, the matriarch, patriarch, that's John and Elizabeth Baxter. They, at the end of the day, they're praying for their kids and they're inviting them back to the table to hold hands and to join hearts that they are not going to be separated by the things that life is throwing at them. I think that idea, you know, of, um, Redemption and hope and and healing over division is something we desperately need right now. And the Baxters, you know, when they come, when they are on Amazon's Prime Video this Easter, is going to be an incredible experience for everyone. Uh, absolutely, this is a it's an uplifting show. Uh, but like you said, there's this is a family that uh, encounters various struggles, uh, various hardships. One of the things I thought was interesting. Uh, with how you've uh, put this show together is that each episode begins with a scripture verse that does kind of encapsulate the, you know, the, the themes and the main um, elements of each episode. And the first episode, uh, the, the verse that you chose is James 1.3, uh, which says, you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Uh, can you maybe speak a little bit on that? Obviously, that speaks to that specific episode, but uh, I think in a larger way, that seems to encapsulate a lot of what this show is is wrestling with. Yes, well, you know the first uh, the first uh, episode uh, j jumps right in to the heart of the issues with one of the kids, the daughter Carrie, and um, discovers that her husband has been unfaithful to her, and um, the family are are horrified broken on her behalf and gathered together, each one reacting differently to the news. Carrie herself. Um, isn't ready to turn her back on her husband. She's willing to walk forward with forgiveness. I don't want to ruin the rest of the episode and the plot for you, but the, sh the show doesn't shy away from issues like this. And it's why I was so attracted to the book series in the first place. I really saw that it had um, a great potential to live out as a great TV drama because Karen has written such an amazing characters and she places them in such extraordinary circumstances. And yet there is always that moment where you can completely relate to this family. You know this family or maybe you are this family. Um, and uh, and I think that's what makes it most powerful that that people will be able to tune in to see the Baxters and that kind of level of relatability and seeing a family that reflect the values uh, that we all hold dear. Yeah, and one of the things exciting about this, as you just said, that this is a TV drama. Uh, this is a, a, a multi-episode, uh, hopefully a multi-season um, show. And I, I know in recent years, faith-based films seem to be thriving in uh, in theaters, but a, a faith-based television show, streaming show, still seems largely like uncharted territory. What was it about these series of books and this story that um, just seemed perfectly suited for this medium? Well, you know, for many years, I myself starred on a TV series, Touched by an Angel. And over the years since it went off the air, I've had countless fans ask me, why can't you bring a show like Touched by an Angel back to TV? So when I first read the Baxter series, I came in, I discovered it as a fan of the books. I thought this would be a fantastic TV show because you're absolutely right. We don't get to see church going families 
families who believe coming together, families coming together in prayer on TV. It's just such a rarity to see that. And I think that fans of the books, that people of faith, people with no faith indeed will enjoy the show too. But I think people of faith will recognize in these stories something of their own lives. And um, and that's very exciting to get us to get a, a series like this on television and for prime video to put it on Easter to make it the Easter launch is, you know, I think really smart of them. And we're very grateful to them because the Baxters plays out like a hope opera and Easter surely is the grandest season of hope of all. It's a time where we're reminded, um, you know, of, of our deep, deep faith and the hope that our faith brings and time of new beginnings. So uh, to have the Baxter's air on Amazon's prime video at Easter is, I think, um, for such a time as this, uh, this series has arrived. Yeah, and, it's, and that is coming up soon. The release date for this is not uh, far away. So maybe just a final question um, for both of you. Obviously, hoping for good reviews and, and high viewership, but maybe beyond that, uh, what in your eyes would make this show a success? Or what do you think, what is your hope that an audience that encounters this story, these this character of families, um, what, what can they take away that would make you feel like this was a successful show? Yeah, the show waited a little while. It was filmed a few years ago, but there's a reason for that. And I believe that it's because God saved it for such a time as this, that we are, we tend to be more divided and we tend to be lonelier since COVID. That's just a generalization, but it's true. And with the Baxters, they're either going to see their own family or they're going to find the family that they wish they had. And either way, as you tune in to watch the Baxters on Amazon's Prime Video over Easter weekend, you really will be coming home. Awesome. Well, March 28th, this show uh, drops. Encourage everyone to check it out. And uh, more than that, thank you guys so much for taking the time and just chatting about this show. Thank you. We appreciate you.